we're doing is explaining how James and Carrie became notorious with bathrooms on New Year's. First New Year's ever. First New Year's ever that James and Carrie, we smile for in. the camera, we said, how the fuck you fuckers? celebrated in Deal Town, Ontario at Ryan McKinnon's house. Deal Town, I love that town. It was a good time, I'll be the first to admit. The first thing I said was, I smell an American. And, what is, and I was like, who the fuck is that guy? Carrie really did not appreciate me at that time, but we grew to love each other over time. You don't love each other now. Excuse me? Do those eyes lie? Let me zoom in. She loves you, Greenwood. Oh, and that kiss tells it all, too. It's over. It's over. I know, James. I'm sorry. Best man, better man. I didn't make that joke. Someone else told me. Anyway. So, here's the story. James and Carrie go missing when? on New Year's. And everybody's like, where's James and Carrie? So James and Carrie. James and Carrie. Hold on. Where were we? Where were you? Where were you? They were not in the downstairs bathroom, I say. Well, the upstairs bathroom, hey, hey. <laughs> Who's guarding the door, motherfucker? I didn't guard no door, but I didn't bother to knock because you were in there for quite a long time. And then when James came downstairs, James had an amazing grin on his face. Kind of like that one, but a lot more shit eating. Yeah, he had to go into the poon. <laughs> oh, you're so dirty. Paper, you're so dirty. <laughs> For the record, folks, I could have said pussy, cunt, or snatch. I said poon, and it's dirty. It's moderate. It's your shame. Brian. Yeah. Oh, God. He's telling you this. But, anyways. Everybody else was oblivious to the fact that James and Carrie were knocking boots in the bathroom. Neither of us were wearing boots, just for the record. I don't even have boots. And I'm pretty sure you weren't wearing a condom either, were you? Dude, I don't know. Because it's, it's not safe. It was fucking New Year's Eve, I don't fucking know. Everybody knows it's not healthy to have a condom in your wallet. I don't even carry a wallet. Carry a credit card, my driver. Well then. So, anyways, the moral of the story is, James likes to have sex in random bathrooms with his wife on New Year's. It wasn't random. It's Ryan McKinnon's parents. Yeah. Well then. It wasn't random. Here, the moral of the story now is, if we're ever at Ryan McKinnon's parents' house, it's James and Carrie's will have sex. I talked to Ryan McKinnon's mom the other night just for fun. I was like, Hey, is Ryan there? And she said. No. no but Can I come over and use your bathroom? <laughs> she said yes. Feel free anytime. And I have the key now, so we're good.